Hello everybody, Ollie here with an impromptu, unscripted video to tell you something very, very important. You might remember not long ago I did a sponsored video for SOAS, University of London. SOAS hired a marketing firm called The Big Shot, who hired me, and they paid me two and a half thousand pounds to make that video for them. I want to say up front that I believe everything I said in that video, and I think that SOAS is a great uni. But... I started my YouTube channel when the government tripled tuition fees, and I am on YouTube because I believe that people should get free education. I'm here to give away my degree so that you can learn without paying anything and without getting into debt. So as charge their students tuition fees, so that's where my fee came from, and that didn't sit right with me, that didn't feel good in here. So I've donated my entire fee to the SOAS Student Union. All two and a half thousand pounds of it, I've given it all away. I wanted to give that money back to the students. Why make a video telling you this? Why not just donate the money quietly and not tell anybody? Well, there's two important reasons for that. The first is this. Truth be told, uh, I, c I could really have used this two and a half thousand pounds. I, I could have probably taken a dent out of my own tuition fees with that. Um, I, I'm at drama school in London at the moment. I'm training to be an actor, which is wonderful. I am currently supported partially through the crowdfunding of this show, partially through other sources. Now, when I graduate drama school in 2017, September, those other sources will cease and I will be out on my own. Now, hopefully, I will also be getting lots of work as a super successful actor. However, I need to be realistic about that, as I'm sure you know, actors don't tend to find work very often. We're unemployed for most of our lives, and when we do find work, it doesn't tend to pay very much. I might have to get a job doing something else as well, acting and something else. If that happens, I don't know what's going to happen to this show. I don't know what's going to happen to Philosophy Tube. Uh, I, d I don't know if I'm going to be able to still keep doing it as of summer next year. And that's... Oh, <laughs> that, that's... Um, I wasn't expecting that. That's actually quite a really, uh, really scary thought. Um, it's kind of, it's been keeping me nervous and keeping me up a bit recently. I mean, I'm, I, I love this life as an actor. I'm so it's a dream come true to, to be at drama school and to be training to be an actor. It's, it's my dream life. And I love being a YouTuber as well. I love educating people and, and all the kind of tiny little interactions I get with other YouTubers and with fans when I, I got recognized on the tube the other day and it's just a tiny little spark of something beautiful. Um, and it's, it's really terrifying that I might have to like, like not do that anymore. Um, because, uh, my whole thing on YouTube is that is is I'm the guy who knows stuff. People come to me and ask me questions. I get, I get questions all the time, like not just about education, but people will send me questions like, what should I do with my life? Where should I study? Because I'm the guy that knows stuff. And, and then at YouTube events, people are like, oh, I wonder what this, Ollie, you know, you'll, we'll ask you. And, and like, I, I don't know the most important thing. I can't answer the most important question, which is how the, how the hell am I going to feed myself in a year? How am I going to... How am I going to keep doing this? Um, I don't know. I have a Patreon page. If you took five minutes to sign up and give me one or two dollars a month, then that terror and that anxiety begins to lift. And the, the future of the show, my future, begins to look a little more secure and I can start planning and being okay with it. Please don't anyone feel that you have to help me. I know that some people just enjoy watching the show casually, and that that's absolutely cool. And there's plenty of other good causes in the world, like, by all means, give your money to other people first. But if, if you share my mission of giving away free education, if, if you want to help me, then please, I could really, really use it. Regular patrons will notice that there's now a new goal on the page. That is how much I calculate I would need every month to survive in London. That includes everything like uh, rent, 
bills, uh, I think that's going to include council tax, which I'm going to have to pay when I graduate, uh, miscellaneous costs, the cost of making this show, and the cost of being an actor as well, which, yeah, it sucks, you actually have to pay to do it, even when you're not doing it, but if we get to that goal, or even if we just get close to it, then Philosophy Tube becomes the thing that I can live on. A lot of actors have, they have acting, and then they have their other job. If I have to get the other job, then Philosophy Tube starts to look like a thing I can't do because I don't have time to do it anymore. But if Philosophy Tube is the other job, and I can survive on that, then I can keep making the show. Like I said, I could really, really have used... Uh, I could really have used this £2,500. Um, I could have put the heating on in my flat for a bit, that might be nice. Um, but I, I genuinely don't think it would have been right for me to keep this money from Saez. If people are donating to keep the show alive willingly, then that is, I think, better. So that's why I gave this money away and why I am also asking you, can you please help me? The second reason I made a video rather than just donate is this. YouTube loves drama and there are whole channels dedicated to stirring stuff up. Since £2,500 is a significant amount of money, I thought this might attract some attention, so I wanted to be upfront and clear about what I did and why I did it, because there were other YouTubers who also worked on this campaign. Evan Edinger and Jazza John, both absolutely lovely by the way, also made videos for SOAS. I don't know how much they were paid, I don't know how much so as even spent on the advertising campaign. Actually, last time I spoke to Evan, Evan didn't know how much Evan was being paid. I'm assuming that they both kept the money, and I think that is totally and completely okay. This is not a moral judgment of anyone else who worked on the campaign. Please don't go after them. Their channels are very, very different from mine. Mine was conceived with a particular mission, and in this case, I think it would have been hypocritical for me to keep the money. Those guys don't have a problem with it. Absolutely cool. If anyone from the marketing company, Big Shot, is watching, I hope you guys don't feel like I tricked you or anything. Uh, like, from the moment we met at Summer in the City and you told me about this campaign, I was always planning on doing this. Like, when we met on the Summer in the City floor and you told me about this campaign, I was already going, I need to give that money away then, if they, if, if I do this, I need to give it away. But you guys worked hard on the campaign, and you deserve to be paid for it, and it was an absolute pleasure working with you, and I hope we can work together again. Some might say that I could have done more good if I donated the money to this cause, or that cause, or I did this with it. I welcome those criticisms, like, pl please do give me feedback on that. I, I hope I've done good by doing this, but I'm always welcoming constructive feedback. I, I think YouTube can be a lot more than it currently is. I think YouTube can be more than just pranks and video games and makeup tutorials. Like, there's absolutely nothing wrong with any of those. Those are great, legit, but I think there's also room for more. I think YouTube can, can genuinely be like a force for good in the world. And I, I think people are hungry for that force for good as well. I, I went on a march the other day through London to Westminster, where our government sits. Me and 15,000 other students were there to protest the government raising tuition fees again and getting rid of maintenance grants and replacing them with loans so that students are in even more debt. I think people are hungry for this change and this force for good. And I hope, and I'm asking you for your help in making this happen, I hope that Philosophy Tube can be a tiny piece of that. So as, take the money. I know you'll do as much good as you can with it. Their student union is running some amazing campaigns at the moment. I'll put a link to the union website in the description. They're trying to get uh, their cleaning staff the respect that they deserve. They're trying to get their teaching staff the respect that they deserve. They're joining with students right across the country to fight for the exact same mission I am. On that demonstration I went on, a lot of those wonderful people I met were from SOAS. So, SOAS. I know that you will do good with this money. Take it. Thank you very much for watching. Please help students. Please help anyone trying to get themselves educated in no matter what way, even if it's outside of a university. And if you can, and if you think it's right, please do help me as well.